The information in this video is true and complete to the best of the knowledge. The content in this video is strictly for educational purposes. Anyone who wishes to apply the concepts and ideas contained in the video takes full responsibility for the actions. Every language has a history and a story to tell. And for Kannada language, the turning point was the arrival of Basel Mission in Mangalore. Mangalore is a place which gifted the nation many talented writers like Kayyara Kinyanna Rai and Gopala Krishna Adiga, among others. Along with these famous writers, Basel missionaries have also played a key role in promoting Kannada language and literature. When Basel missionaries came to Mangalore from Germany, they intended to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to Kannada-speaking natives in the state. In 1834, they came to India, to the west coast. Because uh, on the west coast, Malabar, South Canara, Udupi, North Canara, up to Goa, there were no Protestant missions. So, so, so called a vacant, vacant area. So they established themselves in Mangalore as headquarters and they worked in Malabar, that's North Kerala and then up to Darwad, Bijapur, that side, mainly South Kerala, Kurg, Udupi, Uttar Kannada and so on. In an unexpected turn of events, Reverend Herman Frederick Mogling fell in love with the Kannada language. He was so devoted to the language that he dedicated his time and efforts to studying the Kannada language and literature. Seven years after their arrival, the missionaries mastered the language and established the Mission Press in 1841 in Mangalore, which was the first printing press in the state. Through this press, the first Kannada newspaper called Mangaluru Samachara was started. At a time when news was spread mostly through word of mouth, the Mangaluru Samachara propelled Karnataka into the world of journalism. Journalism, it was Mergling who thought now he needs to disseminate knowledge. People were believing stories, gossip and all that. He collected uh, news from barber shop and wherever people gathered, collected news and published it. He published, started publishing it in, I think in 1841 as Mangaluru Samachara. It was printed in lithography. There was a name, no printing press as such. It was a printing method. Uh, and uh, it survived for a couple of years, but then it, uh, it then, uh, you know, transferred to, transferred to Balari. It became Kannada Samachara and survived for many years. Anyway, he was the pioneer and it is acknowledged even today by journalists. They celebrate uh, journalism in Karnataka from the date when the first issue of Mangaluru Samachara was published. So that was a unique contribution. Mangaluru Samachara was lithographed in 1843 at the Mission Printing Press using stone slabs. All the machines and the slabs which were used to print various texts are still preserved at the printing press in Balmata, Mangalore.
10 years, all lithography textbooks and religious books were printed here. The archive at the Karnataka Theological College in Mangalore preserves all documents and collections of the Basel mission. The archive houses the photographs which have captured various ventures that the Basel mission took up. We have 5,000 collections. Only 1,000 collections belongs to the Basel mission site. We have to take a look at the department. We have to take a look at the less money and butter paper. We have to take a look at the less money. फोटो गले लल्ला बासल मिशन के संबंध पड़ता है तो इधर निम्न की साइट अली सिक्कत है व्यक्ति इधर स्कूल इन साउथ कैंट्रा साउथ कैंट्रा दिखा वड़े का जा जा ड्रेस कोड है गेट तू साउथ कैंट्रा दिल्ली स्कूल ड्रेस कोड एंड स्पेशल इसी सी वन ड्रेस कोड एंड हाई स्टाइल एंड ऑर्नामेंट आल्सो दैट पीर दलित मक्कारो हर एड्रेस कोड अलग चेंज आकते जाएगा। One of the first things printed was the Tulu Bible as the district language was Tulu. In 1847, a full New Testament was printed in three languages, which included Kannada and Malayalam. Many religious books like Dasa Sahitya of Kannada Bhakti movement of the medieval centuries were also printed here in 1852. Vichitra Vartamana Sangraha, the first Kannada newspaper with picture illustrations was also printed here. Other religious newspapers like Christa Hitavadi, Christa Bandhu, Christa Sabha Patravu also originated from the Basel Mission Press. Not only uh, Christian books, but books of grammar, books of stories, books of uh, parables and uh, books of uh, various uh, rites and rituals of this country and this place and so they became the part of the society where a link has been uh, developed between uh, Europe and India. That's the uh, most uh, uh, important changes that we find. An important contribution by the missionaries was the printing of the dictionaries which made it easier to study different texts. In the field of literature also, Basel missionaries such as uh, uh, Hermann Mergling, Malayalam uh, Dr. Hermann Gundert, and then here uh, uh, Gottfried Weigle, these were pioneers. In Kannada language, they made uh, you know, basic literature uh, research and then uh, they edited dictionaries, Kittel's dictionaries, even today standard. Lexical, you know. In 1888, dictionaries were printed in local languages like Tulu and Konkani, followed by productions in languages like Malayalam and Kannada in 1895. Handwritten material, correspondent files, lithography printed old textbooks, original books, and magazines dating from 1816 to 1940 are preserved in the archive till date. Handwritten show purana. Ini nur wacah ahi ni printing inta munde dhan ta um sangraha. Idu paper sahge, blue color lent, color sahge. Mati idu rough, smooth illa, salah rough front. Mati idu katta galla. Ini mana katta galla? Ado handmade paper dhan ta re. Agi na kala da paper idu nur bekari idu endu udara ne. The archive also houses the first Canada collection of writings in palm leaves. Education was of utmost importance to the mission and they made sure that opportunities were available to people from all castes and tribes.
in villages, hundreds of schools. So people say in, in this area, you know, Basel Mission were the ones who taught them alphabets, you know, alphabets, educated them in the primary level. There were only two high schools, one in Mangalore, one in uh, Udupi, one in uh, Calicut, but they concentrated on primary education. So if today Mangalore has become a uh, hub of educational activities, colleges, professions, Basel Mission was pioneered in this area. They found that there are so many children who are uh, in poverty and who are, in, uh, who are not in a position to get good education. So they started the, um, what is called as, those days they used to call it orphanages. But now it is called as CSI boarding homes. So um, these kind of uh, uh, schools started. Then in um, uh, Karkala, they started a place uh, called Bethany uh, Ashram. The arrival of Basin missionaries in Mangalore created a new venture of bringing the outside world inside India. Basin Mission did not restrict itself to education. It contributed to other fields like farming, training farmers and manufacturing industries. They started training youth in the industries, industries, tile making and uh, several other industries came, safe making, foundry and uh, also weaving. They started a weaving establishment. These were traditional weavers, they were weaving casts, you know, but they were trained in modern technology from those days. They were the first to introduce tile factory in Karnataka. The tile industry progressed so well and in 1877 the second factory was opened and the third one in 1880. These factories employed both men and women. The reports show that by 1913, the tile factories were employing 2,000 workers and were producing 60,000 tiles a day. In 1865, Basel Mission Tile Factory was in 1865 in Japan. It was in Bokkapatna and Malpe. There were three tile factories in Dakshina Karana Jilla. There were three tile factories in the Dakshina Karana Jilla. There were three tile factories in the Dakshina Karana Jilla. There were three tile factories in the Dakshina Karana Jilla. The Commonwealth Tile Factory is now running successfully under a different administration at Bolar, Mangalore. In addition to all this, they have also contributed a lot to farming. The Basel missionaries pioneered in agriculture first because the new converts had lost their tenancy. They had no land to cultivate. So the Basel mission took land from the government and started cultivation. There's some agricultural centers and land was given to the new converts as, uh, as tenancy. You know, they could cultivate and give, a, give a, an annual rent to the mission. A farming school was introduced in Murubidri and Darwad, which helped people to be self-sufficient. SLC Sanaka education matta kotre, very very udyoga dalli. Krishi leer bodo, adava tile factory leer bodo, adava personal leer bodo, neegi kharkal kelsa mandu dalli the. Ha ki Krishi le sa, yide deshiya Krishi galanu training kodu dar mula ka orige tarabeth kodu dar mudh Krishi galanu mandu dalli. Antara self support ke agi, very very kadalli, Bolma, Konaje le, Murubidri le, Bailur nalli. Mata, Uchila, semua, daksana itu semua kadek kalian ni, kard kard itu, krisi madi, gadde madi, nirawiri besa madi, antara dry besa kalian madi, ada no self support madi, ah, cerca kalian ni. Among other contributions of Basel Mission include the tower clock which is seen at Saint Paul's Church near Nehru Maidan in Mangalore, the Shanti Church. The Hebic Technical Training Institute built in 1964 and the khaki uniform which was invented by the missionaries here in Mangalore. It became the national uniform for the police and the army. Andhra Visheshwagi, our Madhidan Taidrali, Nege Karkanelli, khaki invent Madhid, khaki invent Madhi, khaki invent Madhid, Ella Police Department, Agana Sarkara Police Department, Navarro. Kaki and Ne Balakaman, the Igu Akaki, Akaki, Balmata Dali, Basin Mission or Maritan Takaki. 
The Basel mission was a leading cause for the change in economic development of the area, which led to modernization of society. Today, coastal Karnataka is said to be modern in many ways and much credit must go to the pioneering efforts of the Basel mission. In terms of culture, tradition and literature, Mangalore has always stood ahead of many other cities in its league and Basel mission will go down in history as the catalyst to such whirlwind changes, especially for its pioneering contributions to Kannada literature and journalism.